Chemistry lecture number 71, Ideal Gas Law. If you had a balloon filled with gas, how would you increase its volume? There are three ways to do this. Increase the temperature of the gas, decrease the atmospheric pressure surrounding the balloon, add more gas atoms or molecules, for example, blow more air into the balloon. Uh, we measure the number of atoms or molecules of gas in moles. And thus the volume of the balloon is affected by the temperature and pressure of the gas and the moles of gas in the balloon. The relationship between volume, temperature, pressure, and moles of gas is PV equals nRT. And this is called the ideal gas law. P is the pressure of the gas, usually in kilopascals. V is the volume of gas in liters. N is the moles of gas. Uh, units are listed as MOL sometimes. T is the temperature of the gas, always in kelvins. And R is the ideal gas constant. R is just a number we're going to use, 8.31. R, the ideal gas constant, is a number we use to make the formula work correctly. 8.31 is used when the pressure units are in kilopascals. If pressure is given in atmospheres, then R is 0.0821. If the pressure is given in millimeters of mercury or tor, uh, then R equals 62.4. I myself would just convert tors or atmospheres into kilopascals and use R equals 8.31 to avoid confusion. So you should remember that uh, 760 tor is the same as 101.325 kilopascals, which is the same as one atmosphere. And that way, if they give you the uh, pressure in tors or atmospheres, you can convert it into kilopascals and then just use 8.31. Let's try a problem. Find the volume of 2.4 moles of argon gas at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 95 kilopascals. So if you had a balloon and it was filled with 2.4 moles of uh, gas and the temperature of the gas was 30 degrees and the gas exerted a pressure in the balloon of 95 kilopascals, how big would the balloon be? All right, so let's figure out what they ask for and what they give us. Find the volume. We're trying to find V. We don't know what that is. 2.4 moles, that's N. All right, of argon gas at a temperature of 30 Celsius. That's the temperature, but we have to convert this temperature into Kelvin, so we add 273, and our temperature is 303 Kelvin. Pressure, um, 95 P, all right, and then R is always going to be 8.31. So, PV equals nRT, P is 95, V is unknown, N is 2.4, R is 8.31, and T is 303. So if we were to isolate V and get it by itself, I guess we would divide both sides by 95. That would cause the 95 to cancel. V equals this stuff on top divided by 95. So V equals 2.4 times 8.31 times 303 divided by 95. We get 63.61 or 63.6 liters. All right. So that's how much space the gas would take up if you have that many moles of gas in the balloon at that temperature and pressure. And we can modify the formula P equals nRT to find the volume if we're given grams of gas instead of moles. For example, if I have 167.6 grams of krypton gas and one mole of krypton uh, is 83.6 grams, how many moles of krypton do I have? Um, now you can probably figure this out in your head if that's how many grams of gas you have and one mole of uh, the gas is 83.6 grams. You would just do 167.6 divided by 83.6 to figure out how many moles you got. Um, bear with me because I want to establish some variables. Let's let little m equal the mass of gas. That would be 83.6 in grams. Let capital M be the molar mass of gas in grams per mole. So capital M is how much one mole of this stuff weighs. Um, oh, I got it mixed up. Yeah, this is capital M. And then this is little m. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, um, and the number of moles of gas is the mass of gas. That's how many grams of gas we have. That's how much one mole of the gas weighs. So 167.6 divided by 83.8, it gives me two moles of uh, krypton. All right, so we can substitute little m over big M in place of n. 
So if we were to substitute little m over big M in place of n in the ideal gas law, we get PV equals little n over big M RT. And sometimes we write it like this. So let's try a problem. Neon gas is kept at a pressure and temperature of 97.2 kilopascals and 61 degrees Celsius. Its mass is 0.75 grams. Uh, what is the volume of the gas? All right, now implicitly uh, they tell you what the mass of neon gas is. Neon on the periodic chart weighs 20.18 grams. We're going to do this with three significant digits. So this is going to be 20.2. All right. So they don't give you the value of capital M directly, but they give it to you implicitly. They tell you the identity of the gas, and uh, it's implied that you have to look it up. All right. So if you look up on the periodic chart, capital M will be 20.2 grams per mole. All right. Um, let's keep going. Um, 97.2 kilopascals, that's pressure, that's P. 61 Celsius, that's temperature, add 273, turn it into Kelvin. V, the volume, that's what we're asking for, what is the volume? And then um, the mass of gas is 0.75 grams, um, little m is 0.75. R is always going to be 8.31. All right, so if I put this in place of m in the formula, that in place of P, that in place of T, leave V alone, 0.75 in place of little m, and then 8.31 in place of R, this is what it looks like. PV equals little m, big M, RT. P is 97.2. V, we don't know. Little m is 0.75. R is 8.31. Temperature is 334 Kelvin, and capital M, 20.2. So, to get V by itself, we can cross multiply. I can put this over one, and then we cross multiply. 97.2 times V times 20.2. 97.2 times V times 20.2 equals one times 0.75 times 8.31 times 334. One times 0.75 times 8.31 times 334. And then to get V by itself, you would just divide both sides by 97.2, and then divide both sides by 20.2. And if you do that, 97.2 cancels there, 20.2 cancels there. You get V equals these numbers multiplied together divided by the product of these numbers. So V equals this numerator divided by that denominator. So if you work out this fraction, you get V equals 1.06 liters. That's how much space the gas takes up if uh, you have that many grams of it at that temperature and that pressure. All right. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture Number 71, Ideal Gas Law.